Morning folks, got a little RDA for you this morning. It's the Wasp Nano from Umia. Not a bad little uh, thing actually. I know I'm well behind in uh, uh, catching up with this one because I, I did actually did do the uh, the RTA. I thought, well, why not? I've got it. It's been sitting here for absolutely ages and this is the first time and coiled it and used it for a very, very long time. It's a tiny little RDA as you can see there and it's got a small build deck to it but don't let that put you off getting one because they're cheap they are cheap this thing can chuck clouds with the best of them <laughs> watch this i'll be back with you in a tick it's the uh, the box that the wasp nano comes in or wasp nano rda comes in as you can see this is the tpd version you've got the wasp logo on them. made by omnia fair enough i've got the black version let's get this little thing out of here shall we nice little rda actually pull this out here there you go put that to one side let's have a look see what we got in the box you get some a tiny bit of organic cotton no coils come with this by the way little brew screwdriver squonk pen post screws and o-rings you also get one of these little user manuals english is at the front here. so here's the uh, actual wasp nano itself comes with a autumn mouthpiece or barrel if you like i'm going to be using it on the pico 75 this morning actually it's the uh, it's the totally wicked version well they've renamed it haven't they it's the arc pico but well there you go they pull my cap off there you go, there it is there. A couple of uh, airflow slots in it. That's fair enough. Put that to one side. And you've got a two post build deck. Now this is a one coil RDA. You've got uh, a couple of, let me take this off of here. You've got a couple of O-rings around the base there to hold the, uh, the cap on. And I've dropped it there. <laughs> As you can see, yeah. The posts, they're more like uh, um, they're clamp post type things, you know. You've got a bit of space underneath each of the posts. Yeah, that's where you put your cotton. On the bottom of the uh, RDA, you've got all the usual information. Wasp Nano, CE, wheelie bin. You've got uh, a gold-plated uh, connection pin. Gold, yeah, gold-plated connection pin there with uh, stainless steel 510 threading. You've also got the negative post uh, the screw there so that's fair enough so I mean, you could dismantle this and uh, give it a very thorough cleaning out if you see liquid all i've done is just pull the coil out let's put uh let's put a coil in this now what am i gonna right i've got some stainless steel here stainless steel ribbing yeah it's uh, 24 gauge oh, let's just straighten that out just a little bit there we go. Right. Um, right, now, before I go any further, let's just put the deck over there. The other day I did a, a review for the Jester uh, rebuildable pod kit. What Vapefly kindly sent along with it, um, in this velveteen bag, a little tool kit. That uh, I, I, I didn't get a chance to show you on the, the review for the jester but i thought well i'll use it today and uh and, and see what happens so you've got the vape fly mini toolkit on there you've got like a little ruler there that's fair enough isn't it um press that in and opens up and you've got basically everything in there that uh you need to build a coil or uh well, for a call related emergency, as it were. <laughs> you've got the hand, you've got a handle there, rather like the, um, the coil master kit. Yeah, we're going to need those. They're the, uh, the wire cutters. Won't need that. It's a fake coily. They've got screwdriver bits in, in here. The only thing is, Right, now I'm going to have to use my own screwdriver for this uh, uh, Wasp Nano because they've got nothing small enough for the screws to, uh, uh, so that you can unscrew the screws. But 
Well, you know, it's one of those uh, one of those things. Now I'm going to be using a three millimeter bit. There's a three millimeter. So you've got three point five, two point five. I'm going to use a three millimeter bit, and that's this handle thing's got like a, a magnet in it. It's not very strong, but it will do the job. Pop that to one side. You also get in there, you get some more cotton, 5 bolt cotton, with a couple of coils. You get a pair of scissors, which we'll need those, so I'll bring those out. They also give you a coil brush, which is a handy little thing to have, actually. If your coils get oxidised, um, just brush them off, you know. Right, and they also give you a pair of ceramic tweezers. Yeah, so that's fair enough. I'm not going to bother using those. I'll use my... Uh, where are they? There they are. I'll use my Coilmaster hook ones. Right, okay, so we'll just close that up and put that to one side. Yeah, I'm going to be aiming for about 3 ohms, so... I'm going to be doing six or seven wraps, seven I think. I will just let that one go. And you need to have your tails facing away from each other. There you go. All right, let's give this a bit of a, a space if I can. Yeah. Right, okay, so where's my deck? Here it is. <laughs> okay, so what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll pop this in. Now, what, before I do that, you plonk it, Kevin, you've got to open these screws up. Put, the, put these tails in, shall we? Uh, yeah. yeah, right, that's that done. Now, what we've got to do is just cut those so that, uh, come here, cut those so that uh, they're more or less level with the post. There we go. Oh, I don't know where that flew off to. Flew off somewhere. Put that there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to just tidy this and raise the coil just slightly so that it's, if you look through there, you can see it through the airflow slots. Actually, these airflow slots are quite wide. They're wider um, than the slot on the cap. Fair enough. Right. Um, now what the hell am I doing? Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh dear, I want some cotton, don't I? Oh, I've got my cotton bacon here. I'll just tear off a piece of that. There we are. Nicely burning from the sun, sir. Okay, so let's get some cotton in this thing, shall we? Now, with this coil, what I like to try and do is I like to try and pack the coil out. So, um, I generally use just that little bit more cotton um, to fill the coil than, uh, than I would normally do. What did I do with those scissors? <laughs> there they are. They've got black handles. That's why I couldn't see them. So... Cut that off roughly around there and roughly around there. Now that's a, a, a little bit shorter than uh, I would normally do it, um, but uh, it does help. All right, get rid of that. Okay, right now is put the cotton down so it's underneath the opposite deck, yeah? Uh, 
over here. There's that one. And that one. Right here. Okay, right, so what am I going to put in it? Oh, I know. I've got some uh, sucker punch here. Yeah, it's uh, humble and flawless. <laughs> it's not bad, actually. It's quite a nice liquid. Oh, gee, that's only 25, uh, 25 watts, isn't it? So let's put that up a little bit. Incidentally, that coil worked out to uh, uh, 0.36, which is, is fine. I, I was going for 0.3, but there you go. Right. There we go. Just a little bit more. Okay, let's put the cap on. There we go. And that's all ready to fire. So what we'll do is we'll go back up top, give this a bit of a blast, and uh, well, then we can close this one down, can't we? <laughs> See you in a tick. Right, welcome back up, folks, and we've been looking at this little wasp nano from on the uh, it's all right. It's, I, I, I actually do like it, and I don't know why it was that I just put it to one side and left it. It's uh, not a bad little thing. Let's set this on stainless steel. I've got it set at 75 watts at 550 Fahrenheit. <laughs> Blimey, Riley, I'm going to need some more liquid in there. <laughs> Dear, oh dear, that thing, this thing really does chuck out the vapour. I'm absolutely amazed at it. I really am. It's a 22mm RDA, which is fine, hence the reason I've just, I've stuck it on the Pico this morning, uh, because it looks rather daft sitting on something like the Mech Man or uh, my Legend or... <laughs> So, I'll put it on this one anyway, as I say. But, uh, I cannot believe the amount of vapour I get from this, yeah? And I can't believe the flavour quality. The flavour quality is absolutely top-notch. Let's do it again. Oh, love it. And the amount of vapour, unbelievable. For one coil. One coil. Bloody hell. Right, I'm going to put that onto power, uh, 40 watts. Yeah, I did say earlier on it's 0 0.36. Yeah, that's not bad, not bad at all. Um, let's whack that up a bit, actually. Let's bung that up to oh, 50 watts, that'll do. Not bad. It's uh, a warm vape. Not too warm, but it is a warm vape. I'm going to put that up some more. 65, I think. I need some more bloody liquid in that as well. Ah! That's that. Right. Put the bottle back there, otherwise I'll knock it over. You know what I'm like. Bloody klutz that I am. Ah, uh, that's 65. Oh bugger it, I'm going to put it up to the whole 75 watts and see uh, see how we go with that. Whoa. That is quite a warm vape actually. Quite a warm vape, almost too warm for me. So I'm going to put that back down. Oh, 65. The flavour is really banging. It really is. I, I, I absolutely love the flavour from this one. Right, now what else can I tell you about this? You saw what came in the box. You get the Wasp Nano. You get a BF pin or a, a squonk pin. Yeah, uh, Post screws, O-rings, cotton, screwdriver and a user manual. Yeah, The actual RDA for the specs of the RDA is 22 millimetres. 
22.5 millimeters in height so it's quite tiny i mean i haven't uh the uh the smallest one that i've used which is also a banger actually is the pixie rda from vapefly yeah um the cap is made of altum it's a black altum yeah you've got an adjustable airflow there now the airflow that's a good point now um it is quite open uh but it is a restricted drawer <laughs> yeah and to be quite honest even if i cut it down it's still too wide to do a mouth to lung drawer on it not that i'm a mouth to lung vapor anyway <laughs> Deck is made from stainless steel. An adjustable 510 connector on there, but that, that, that's 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 fine. It's a budget budget. I think it's about twenty quid, if that. Yeah. Um, if you shop around, you'll probably get pick one up for about fifteen quid. But what do I like about this? I like that it's small. I like that it's one coil. Now I went through a stage where I was using one coil RDAs all the time. Yeah. Um, and then I sort of went to dual coils and that's basically where i've stayed i like the flavor i mean a lot of rdas well apart from the pixie a lot of one coil rdas you don't get such good flavor with them yeah um the flavor isn't top notch <laughs> this one this one is a top notch rda top notch flavor rda and you get some bloody decent vapor from it as well as i say i mean 65 watts It's a warm vape, but it's not too warm, because I can't I, I can't stand a hot vape myself personally. But there you go. Uh, that's my personal thing, you see. So but there you go. Anyway, I don't think there's anything else that I can tell you about this little thing. Um, I want to thank Vapefly actually for sending across this uh, um, this toolkit velvet in a velveteen bag. Um, there they go. There's there's the kit on the outside. Yeah, it's uh, it's not a bad little kit. Let's just open that up again for you. There you go. That's what you get inside. You've got everything in there that you need to make a coil. The only thing is, I've found that the uh, the flathead screwdriver part is too big for this RDA, so I had to use my own. <laughs> but there you go. Anyway, not particularly happy about seeing that in there which, you know but uh well it filled a space in the box it'll never get used i mean if it didn't spoil the look of the kit i'd throw that one out in favor of me coily anyway this has been this has been kevin the wording vapor saying thank you very much for listening to my warblings on this morning this has been the wasp nano from omnia and uh I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm not sure what it's going to be. I think it's probably going to be a review for EC Click, actually. I've got... What is it? It's the Alpha, Alpha Mini. Yeah. Um, it's a Vupu product. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> anyway, let's, uh, let's toot you out. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers for now. Because you know I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles. I'm all about that vape, about that vape air bubbles.